Welcome to the 531, where we debate a top 5 list on a particular subject, further discuss it down to a top 3, and then eventually settle on a top 1. Now after this beat, we'll get to today's subject. Working Fans Podcast, welcome back for another week of the 531, where we take a top five list on a particular subject, debate it down to a top three list, and then we debate it down to the number one spot, the number one stunner, the top gun, the king of the hill, mm. cream of the crap, freak out, freak out, <sighs> lean in a little bit on that mic, Dave, what it is is what it is, and what it is. This week, we have the top five entrance themes. And this is a list that, would you say, people got back to us pretty quick with? Yeah, this is the most enthusiastic uh, enthusiastic list that uh, people got back to me on. I mean, we've got a good fan base, but, like, I don't think we've seen a response like we did for this. And the first list we have is Jake St. John, author, friend of the show. What did he give us, like, ten people? He had the Hollywood Blondes WCW theme. Obviously, Stone Cold's theme. Minoru Suzuki's Kaza Ni Nare. He originally had Daniel Bryan's Flight of the Valkyries, but one of his previous honorable mentions, the Midnight Express WCW theme, took that spot. His final spot was the Raven ECW theme, The Offspring, and that leaves his honorable mentions as the Skyscrapers WCW theme and Daniel Bryan, Flight of the Valkyries. He also mentioned to me that Lex Luger, U.S. title reign in WCW, had a heck of a theme. Check it out. Recommend that. I'm sure that didn't come off Randy's list? Nope. I mean, Randy might have had that list, too. I'm telling you, me and Jake offhanded had that conversation. Hey, I'm not the one who smokes weed. All right, don't worry about my memory. <laughs> I know you got you've got the killer memory out of this. I'm definitely gonna leave some people out of this list. Sure, I got you back. Scott from Voluntown. Now I can attest that Marty Skrull's one true villain, the top of his list, it's on his workout mix. He brags about this song any chance he gets. It it's a very good theme. It'll really get you like ready for a Skrull match. Yeah. The surprising pick on this list is Hiroki Goto's theme. Had doubt. H A D O U. Yeah. Deep cut. I don't spell. I don't speak Japanese. Yeah. Jay Lethal's Scorched Ops is number three. Kenny Omega's Devil's Sky is number four. And Mitsuhara Misawa's Spartan X takes up the final spot. He's a big fan of the uh, Japanese theme songs. Yes. And the Lapsed Fan has been doing something lately where they do a Lapsed Fan jukebox, they call it, where one of the guys just basically vocalizes the theme songs. And it's pretty funny. Hmm. Yeah, I'm a big fan. If you get a chance, anybody out there, check out The Lapsed Fan. Very good deep dives on things and, like, comedy deep dives. Now, Jake's brother, Zach, got us a list. He has Flair, which I would assume 2001, The Space Odyssey. I I mean, I don't know how many other songs Flair had, but that's the one I would... No, I mean, there was probably a WWF theme, but if you like the WWF theme better than the theme to 2001, A Space Odyssey, I'm sorry, Zach, but you can get the fuck off our podcast. The WWE theme was almost similar, too, so it's not... Oh, I'm sure it was just, like, a great value version of it. Like, how close can we get without going over? This theme was, like, something like... dun da 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 dun da 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 Bana. You're welcome for that. It's that little thing where it's like, we had the drum roll before we ripped off. By the way, I got a bug in my throat today, and I'm first time using this mic, so if I suck at this, forgive me. <laughs> we are recording in the studio in Jewett City. We are yeah. watching wrestling while we record. Yeah. We- AKA Joe's shitty room. <laughs> it's overheated. <laughs> Oh, yeah, we didn't speak about how this place is going to be a sweat box, but 
I think once we get this place going, this is where the podcast is birthed from. Until then, you got to pay your dues, son. Yeah. Now we actually have a dedicated workspace rather than just my desk next to the the washer and dryer downstairs where, like, I would set up audio work. But, like, if I had to put a video together to make, I would make the video while I do wash so I'm not washing and trying to hear everything. Or, uh, but you guys are getting a little behind the scenes with all that. Yeah, record, record in my little room. Yeah. Everybody get together. Come on, AJ, you sit on the bed. <laughs> Not to be weird or nothing. Number two on Zach's list is Hogan Real American, which I'll be surprised if this one doesn't take the crown. We almost should have taken Real American out of this. Crap. Scott have Real American on there? Scott does not have Real American. Oh, I'm surprised. He likes to put that over. Oh, it's a it's a big song, but I, there are so many new modern songs that almost trump that era. He actually dropped this on me the other day. The real American song was originally meant for Barry Windham and Mike Rotundo. The U.S. Express. At the- yes, I, f- I heard that at one time, and that's crazy to think. Yeah. Hogan heard the song, and he's like, I'm sorry, that's not working for me, brother. That's not going to work for me, brother. That's going this way. Sorry, little Rotunda man. <laughs> Stone Cold is number three on his list. Another good pick. Mm. Number four is Mr. Perfect. It's good. And number five is Randy Savage. Good list. Don't forget the super bitch. <laughs> I know. We're watching ROH Best of the World, and it's ACH and Matt Seidel versus the decade of BJ Whitmer and probably the youngest Adam Page ever. Back when I thought Adam Page was just so-so. I mean, this is one of my favorite events we're watching the roh best in the world battle of the belts lethal versus briscoe by far maybe my favorite event ever hmm. but i mean we're getting caught up by what's on the tv let's get back to the eyes on the prize eyes on the prize mike flynn has piper's wwf theme as his number one jericho break the walls down as number two Punk Cult of Personality is three. Yeah, let's go. DX theme is four. And then RVD's ECW song as five. What's the... Do you ever know, no you know the band? I have no idea what his ECW is. No, the band that sings the DX song? No. It's actually, I want to say, to play off words, I believe it's age. It's age against the machine. So, like, you know how they sing it a little bit like rage? Yeah. yeah. That's similar, yeah. And I think the lead singer died. Yeah, he's dead. But moving on, Josh Dunn, friend of the show from Rock and Randy's Rock and Wrestling Group. He gave us a list of four. I mean, five because one of them's a tag team, but he's got Nick Gage. Okay. David Starr. Doom Patrol, which is Chris Dickinson and Jaka from Evolve Beyond Northwest Indies. And Kenny Omega's his number four. Uh, David Starr, that's the song It's like by an uh, 80s pop singer there. Yeah, I'm not sure who it is. It definitely sounds like an 80s song. So. It's 80s. It's I, the same people who sing, I don't give a damn about my bad reputation. Oh, Joan Jett. Yeah, it's Joan Jett. Yeah, yeah. not pop, but yeah. All right, not a bad list. Randy's got a list for us. Hit me, Randy. He's got the Steve Austin theme, so I'm going to say Stone Cold. Mm-hmm. Cody Rhodes' AEW theme. Sure. The DX theme. Hey, making a... Hit here. Edge theme. That's a good one. And then Dolph Ziggler. Dolph Ziggler. I might put Edge on mine. I haven't decided yet. Last yeah. second. Uh-huh. I got a list right now. Edge might slip in. AJ's got a list, and I feel like he was going for the deep cuts on this almost. Yeah, he was. He's got The Undertaker, Johnny Cash, Ain't No Grave, 2011. That's a good theme. Man in Black. Got to put him on the list. CM Punk, Cult of Personality. Kevin Von Erich, Stranglehold. Hey, motherfucker, I got that one. Uh, never mind. <laughs> Bruiser Brody has ZZ Top, I Am Bad, I'm Nationwide, and Randy Orton with Richard Luzzi's Voices. Dave, what do you got a list for your top five entrance? Class? I ain't changing it. Kevin Von Erich, Stranglehold makes my list. Hollywood Blondes, Jake was right. I'm going to put that on there. Also, this is a <clears throat> deep one for you guys. The Chicago Bulls theme song. I forget the name of it. Fuck, we did this with, we talked this over with Roy Lusher. Right, and Ricky Steamboat would come out to that. And Ricky Steamboat is number one on my list for that reason, by the way. I was kind of going out of order here. Also, Johnny Cash, Ain't No Grave, sorry. And a tie for number five, the Owen Hart theme and the Four Horsemen theme. And also, uh, while we're at it, throw in uh, Carrie Von Eric, the Tom Sawyer, Modern Day Warrior. And an honorable mention, of course. What was the one we were just talking about a minute ago on AJ's list? You know what? Fuck it. That's good enough. That's all you get. That's a solid list. I'll give you mine right now. 
I've got Kazai Ninare on there from Minoru Suzuki. Obviously, Real American, I don't think you can grow up our age and not have... If Real American's not on your list, it's not going to be very far from it, I can't imagine. That classic Bret Hart theme from WWF. Nah, I'm upset I didn't put that on, but go ahead. I wrote this list as you were reading off yours, so I was just lucky that it popped into my head at that moment. I've got Cult of Personality after that, and I'm going to go with Break the Walls Down as my number five. It's a good one. Bret Hart and the Ultimate Warrior theme are a couple honorable mentions for me, too. I love those songs. All right, so if we're looking at these lists... One question. Did we read off Jesse from New Hampshire's list? did not read off jesse from new hampshire's list jesse we fucked you and you can hear me dropping the phone on the table just because i'm gonna look this one up we can't do you wrong this many days in a row Mm -hmm. jesse's list has real american from hogan stan hansen all japan pro wrestling theme the beverly brothers theme song Mm. tommy dreamer man in the box and damn it Sandman into Sandman. He's got some interesting lists there. The Beverly Brothers. I mean, I kind of remember that one, and I don't remember liking it. But <laughs> I'll have to go check that out now. But uh, yeah, that's interesting. What is your brother's name? Is that you? <laughs> Siri wants to know Dave's brother's name. It's none of your damn business, Siri. <laughs> God, the government's listening in. Oh, yeah. We're getting used to this equipment, folks. <laughs> like these telephones. <laughs> so we, we got a lot of lists at, in ahead of us. <laughs> so we uh, we got to get out of here. Drug, Joe's drug dealer is coming in. All right, hold on. <laughs> what do we got? We didn't forget anybody, right? No, I believe we got everybody. We have a real mix of lists. Mm-hmm. And you definitely read Randy's list, right? Yes, I did. So Real American made a lot of lists, so that's going to be on the number one spot. I'm going to put the Stone Cold list as two, or Stone Cold theme as two. And then looking at all these other lists, kind of who do you think goes in that third spot? Was there a lot of twos? Like me and AJ both had the Von Eric, Kevin Von Eric theme and Johnny Cash. I know me and Jake both had Hollywood Blondes. So I'm just wondering, was you see a third in there anywhere? No, but let's give... Strangleholds a hell of a fucking song. It's a hell of a song. I'll throw it in there. Yeah. And just the way like it gets the crowd whooped up, especially with like you got the love of the Von Ericks and then Stranglehold on top of it. And MLW, I mean, I would say that Marshall and Ross come up to a somewhat of a parody of that song. It's- oh yeah, it's definitely got the feel of it. So between Real American Stone Cold's theme and Stranglehold, which is the first to go? That's a tough one. Now, all right. I feel like it's gonna be like every other time we do this list, and the last one in is gonna be the first one out because stone cold and hogan's themes are just well that's the thing so what do you want to go by if you go by just the quality of song i actually say stranglehold might be the best song now if you're going by in terms of wrestling though like better than real american when it comes crashing down and it hurts inside dun, 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 dun. i mean some might argue those lyrics are a little bit corny and that's kind of why it's so good the video is definitely for now but that's just an, that's one argument now when you're talking about epicness though stranglehold unfortunately i would say isn't as epic as stone cold or hulk hogan so in terms of wrestling sure i'll kick off stranglehold but I do want to say, in terms of a song, a jam, like if I was going to show people, like, hey, what's a song you like to listen to? I'd probably go, here, listen to Kevin Von Eric. I wouldn't go, <laughs> check out this Real American, brother. <laughs> hey, no, hey, girls, where are you going? Uh, I don't know. Real American's good. Like, if you want to pop off a good 4th of July party. True, 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 true. I don't know. It doesn't. All right, so if we're doing this. It doesn't feel right to take Stranglehold off, no matter how crazy Ted Nugent is. <laughs> But if we're going to get rid of Real American or Stone Cold's theme, who goes? Well, to me... Here, I'm going to make an executive call. Okay. Go ahead, brother. This is very timely. Yeah. Given the way events have been lately. Mm, We need some Real American. I was going to say, you spoke with Barrington Hughes about this, so I think him addressing the Black Lives Matter movement means more coming from him. Sure. But Black Lives Matter, and we're going to get Hulk Hogan's song the fuck out of here. Oh, right, right, right. Little thing, though. He's a racist fuck. I forgot it. That's fine. Allegedly. I don't want to say that in case he gets sued. 
I mean, it's on tape. I know, I'm pretty sure it's on tape. <laughs> I'm probably fine. <laughs> it was actually the first time we went to the Barclays Center for NXT TakeOver. It might have been a little bit after that happened. I don't know timeline. But I'm walking in the subway and there's this black dude whistling this song. And it didn't occur to me at first what it was. But when I realized he was whistling Hogan's theme, I was like, oh, wow, that's... That's understanding right there. I mean, it's a catchy song, but... but. I want to throw this out there. Let's kick out Hogan's all together, but he doesn't even make the final three. Fuck him. All right? So if that's the case, I'm, I'm going back here a little bit. All right? I want to pitch an idea for you. Two other guys that make the final top three here. All right? Johnny Cash. Ain't no grave. That's one. Or the DX theme was mentioned quite a bit, it felt like. Man in black. I like it. <laughs> We're joking a lot about it, but... I think for us to make a serious statement about things would almost be out of character for us. We do want to show our support for Black Lives Matter. The interview I have with Barrett and Hughes will cover how I feel, how I think I speak for all of us here, and how, uh, obviously, Barrett and more importantly feels. I mean, who really gives a fuck? Like, how do white guys feel about it? I think it's important that we at least make a statement, but not go overboard. Yeah, we ain't shit. But the bottom line is, we all hate racism here. Yeah, we don't want to stay quiet, because I almost feel like not addressing it is almost like being complicit with it. Yeah. And I mean, anybody that's heard me tell the story about the dude at work that had the swastika tattoo, I'm going to be a little vocal about it, so... I wanted to keep it to a minimum because we're all shits and giggles here. Yeah, and I think this is a chance a lot of times for people to kind of like forget about the bullshit yes, that's yeah. going on. Yeah, so, but yeah, honestly, make no mistake about it here at the Work of Fans Podcast. We don't fucking like racism. No, not in the least. Not our thing. Now, we, we're going to need, oh yeah, we're going to go with Johnny Cash as the number three on this list. I already forgot that. Yeah, unless, you, unless you wanted to pick that. DX. I don't feel like you give a fuck about the DX theme, though. The DX theme is good, but... but it would have made my list. You got I threw it in there because it was popular with other people. You've got it up against Stone Cold, Real American, and now Johnny fucking Cash. Or no, Stone Cold Stranglehold in... Yeah. Jesus, I already fucking forgot twice. <laughs> That's all right, brother. Take another hit. All right. I'm going to go with... Uh, you know what? I got a cough button now, so we can do that. <laughs> So, Johnny Cash. Yeah, yeah, let's bring Johnny Cash, and let's keep the tradition alive. Fuck Johnny Cash. Let's have a stranglehold and the Stone Cold theme. It's tough, but it's almost like once you're trying to figure that third person in, it's almost like you're making an excuse to get them into that third slot, so they're almost the first to go every time. Yeah, they're gone. Stone Cold and Stranglehold. This is tough. You know, in terms of iconic, I'd say you almost got to go with Stone Cold. But part of me just wants to say, fuck all that noise. He ain't never did our podcast, but Ross and Marshall did. So I almost want to give it to Stranglehold just because of what you were talking about, how it was so big for Kevin during that time. And then now his sons have almost like a version of it that they can use in MLW. Yeah, I, I'm for it. I'm a mark for that song. Hey, it's our fucking show. Sorry, people. Write us in if you don't like it or text me. You know who you are. <laughs> All right, so this week, the top... Oh, wait. I fucked up, and I forgot to play perhaps maybe the best theme song of all. Now let's go out on this beat. As always, guys, you know where to find us. The email is workingfanswrestlingpod at gmail.com. The Twitter is at fansworking. The Instagram, workingfanswrestling underscore pod. We got the Dave and AJ Facebook profile. We got the Working Fans Podcast Wrestling page on Facebook. Follow us where you can. Subscribe to us on YouTube. Don't leave us out there. And you guys have a good night. Thank you. Guys, thank you for listening to the 531 here on YouTube this week. If you like what you hear, you can always find us on Anchor FM, Google Podcasts, Spotify, Breaker, Overcast, Pocket Cast, Radio Public, and on the Apple Podcast where you can subscribe and also give us a five-star rating. We appreciate you listening. We want your feedback, 531, and if you agree with us, if you disagree with us, we also want you to let us know and let us know what your 531 would be. Come up with a top five and... 
and let us know and we'll tell you why you're wrong. And in order for us to do that, please contact us on Twitter, we're at Fans Working, Facebook page, Working Fans Wrestling Pod, email Working Fans Wrestling Pod at gmail.com. It's very important that you actually contact us on these platforms because we want this to be your interactive place to talk wrestling. 